friends. All right, I have some things I want to use up. I cut up all my cucumbers and onions and carrots. I have to make the brine yet, so I'm going to do that. And I have bought, this was from the Asian market, and look at all the seeds, the mustard seeds you get for $1.49. If you buy this in the grocery store, it's probably going to be 3 or $4. So visit your Asian market for spices and things. It's, it's a great way, and it's way cheaper, even if, if you're a vegan and you're looking for cashews. I know my Asian market has them, and they are way cheaper, you know, the raw cashews. So give it a try. Maybe you'll find yours is cheaper, too. So I want to make the gyros for dinner tonight. So now this is vegetarian for me. If you're vegan, use vegan products. If you don't care, just use whatever you want. Um, but I have chopped up part of the cucumber that I have in there and a sweet onion. I have French onion chip dip that I know. You know, every once in a while you just have to be bad. I guess it's innate in humans. You just have to go for it. Anyway, if this is as bad as I'm ever going to be, then no problems. No worries. But anyway, I when I went shopping a few days ago for my monthly shopping haul, I did buy some chips because that's one of the things that I do eat that I know is bad for me. I don't eat a ton of it, like I won't sit down and eat a whole bag of chips. But I do like a handful every now and then, maybe two, three times a week. I have a nice big handful of potato chips, and I just got the taste to have some dip with it. So that's what I did. So anyway, I bought, this is from Aldi's, it's Friendly Farms, and it's their French onion chip dip. But in all reality, I can't eat a whole container of chip dip before it goes bad. So I thought, well, it's got onions and it's got a cream cheese kind of thing. So I'm going to make some tzatziki sauce out of my chip dip. So it's kind of too thick as a sauce. So I'm going to put some almond milk in with it. See, I ate half. But it needs to get used up. So I'm going to put a very, very good chunk in here. Because once I open those veggie gyro things, I'm sure I'm going to have to eat them. Because things go bad after you eat the, uh, after you open the package. So I think oh, that's probably about a third of a cup, I would say. But, you know, this is kind of to taste. So, and this will be enough for my chip and dip addiction. I never buy dip. I haven't bought dip in years, but I did. So now I'm going to add a little bit of milk at a time because I don't want it too thin and runny. And I also want to add some pepper in with it. Yeah, add whatever flavors you like, you, you know. And this is your, this is your food. And it's what you like. Even when you, you know, have a recipe. You do whatever you like. So anyway, this chip dip is already salty, so I don't think it'll need any salt. But I'll try it after I get it mixed up because the, the um, almond milk does sort of water it down a little bit. But I think this will be delicious. And again, cooking with what you have, that's the thing to do. A lot of people don't like to cook because... They don't see it as a creative endeavor, but uh, to me it's just so creative to, you know, cook from what you have. I love doing that. So that's looking pretty good. Maybe just a hair thinner, not much. It's I don't like it real runny because then it runs all out of the sandwich. 
but I saved a couple cucumbers because I'm probably going to cut more into the the gyro. So let me give this a taste and see if I if I got a yay or a nay here. And if it's a nay, oh well, that happens. It's tasty. Very tasty. Yep. I'd never know it was made with chip dip. So anyway, there's one of my dishes. That's going to go in the fridge. And then I'm going to make the brine for my refrigerator pickles. And I like pickled onion, so... <coughs> oh, excuse me! They're delicious on burgers. So I put quite a bit of that in there. And for a different flavor, I thought I'd put in some carrots, too. So I'm going to make the pickle brine, and I'll be back and show it to you and tell you what's in it. All right, here we go. Now I kind of made up my own brine here. And what I have here is a cup of vinegar, about a quarter, like, like a heaping quarter of a cup of sugar. Um, I have about three quarters of a teaspoon of sea salt. Use whatever salt you have. I'm going to add some turmeric. About half a teaspoon. And then I'm just going to bring this to a boil. And in here I have... Turn this down a little bit and let it simmer. In here I have uh, about a teaspoon of mustard seed, a teaspoon of dill seed, um, a teaspoon or to taste of um, red crushed red pepper flakes, and about a half a teaspoon of celery seed. So I'm going to put that in here as well. And what I'm looking for here is I don't want a real sour pickle, but I don't want a real sweet pickle either. So I want something in between with just maybe a little tiny bit of heat. Now I'm not sure this is going to be enough. So I may end up using, putting just a little bit of water in with it, but I'm not sure. I really don't want to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I want it also garlicky. So I'm going to put, and this is just from Costco, I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of garlic just on top. Just on top of the um, vegetables. Because that's all going to fall down when I pour this brine over it. So that's two tablespoons of chopped up garlic. If you have whole cloves, those are good too. I don't have any right now, but you can put whole cloves in there as many as you want. Um, anywhere from a half to a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Half a teaspoon of celery seed. One teaspoon of dill seed, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and did I say mustard? Uh, mustard seed. One teaspoon of mustard seed. So this has come to a boil now, and I tasted it, and it has the flavor in it that I want. So now I'm just going to pour this over, the hot liquid, over my vegetables. And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours. If you have a couple days, that would be even better. But, so here we go. Hope I don't make a mess. Oh dear. 
I'll do it this way so you can see, but I'm not left-handed, so it might not be pretty. So I can already see I'm going to need more. So I'm going to guess that if you made two cups of vinegar sugar water, I'm not going to put more spices in, but two cups of the vinegar and sugar water should be enough to do a quart. So I'm going to make some more of the sugar and the vinegar, oh, and, and a little salt too. So I'll be back. Okay, friends, it's the two cups is enough. So you want to use two cups of the vinegar, uh, about a teaspoon of salt. Taste it, see if you how salty you like it. And um, about two-thirds of a cup of sugar. <clears throat> and that actually was to, to my taste. I liked it that way. So what's going to happen is as you pour that in, even though you have the spices in the brine, they're going to kind of float to the top. So now what I'm doing is just pushing down all those little mustard seeds that like to float. But try and cover all your veggies with the brine so that they don't go bad. And the salt and the vinegar, they're going to uh, preserve this. So anyway, um, and then while it's sitting in the fridge, I'd recommend that you, you know, give it a tap down every now and then. But I'm going to let this cool now, at room, and when it gets to be room temperature, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And hopefully these will be good, good refrigerator pickles. I think they, they look like they're going to be delicious. So, that's another project for today. And um, I'll be back later when I put together my gyro dinner. And I've got my veggie broth cooking and I even stuck the ends the ends from the cucumber in there. I don't know if it'll taste good or not, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So that's what I'm doing today. Somehow I always end up cooking. I should be doing something else like getting my deck ready for the for the uh, winter. But sometimes you just don't feel like it. And that's kind of where I am. And the beautiful sunny day is now getting cloudy, so it was supposed to rain today. So I guess they were right. You know, meteorologists, sorry if any of you are meteor meteorologists out there, I don't mean to offend. But it's one of the few professions that I know where they can make a lot of mistakes in their predictions. <laughs> and they still have a job. But anyway, that's all I have for now, and I'll be back later when I put together my sandwich. Hi, I'm back. All right, so I'm going to make my dinner now. And like I said, I have these veggie gyros. Now normally I like to make my own seitan because it's so doggone expensive. I mean, a little box like this is usually five dollars and you get 7.05 ounces you know if you make your own it's way cheaper so I mean even if you use pre-made vital wheat gluten instead of uh, your own washed gluten which is a lot of work it's still worth the effort to make your own so anyway this is what it looks like it looks good I tasted it it tastes good when it says to heat it up for five minutes. So I just have a little bit of olive oil here in the pan. And I'm just going to put it in. And now this is a little oily feeling already, so I don't think you, you don't need much, much oil in the pan. I just put some in to keep it from sticking. So this will probably make, oh, I would say three sandwiches 
three gyros depending on how big they are and how much meat you like in them but the texture seems good it's firm but you could totally make this yourself I've made a gyro seitan before and it's not hard it's just a matter of the Greek spices that you put in it so I'm going to let that cook for a minute and I had these gyros in the freezer or in the refrigerator so I just stuck it in the microwave for a minute to soften it up and I get these at, at a local shop at a local um, gas station and they're owned by Middle Eastern people so they make the best um, hummus in the city supposedly and I've had their hummus and it's delicious and they stock a lot of Middle Eastern type foods they have like a little deli there so that's where I got the the, um, the gyro wrapper and they're really good these are really tasty they're not dry at all so I'm just heating this up a little bit and I'm just going to put some some of the sauce that I made and some onions and some lettuce and that's going to be my dinner I don't want to cook this too much I don't want to dry it out so there we go I'm going to put a little sauce on here just run it down the middle and I thought the sauce turned out really well for it being chip dip. All right, next I'm going to put my veggie gyro meat, and this is vegan and non GMO, and there's no bad ingredients in here. I looked at the ingredients, and it's not a big long list of chemicals. Um, you know, you just your usual. Vital wheat gluten, tofu, um, sunflower oil, soy sauce, soybeans, salt, wheat, sea salt, garlic, sugar, yeast, onion, celery, herbs. So, nothing bad. Not a whole bunch of chemicals. So, we'll see how this tastes. I'm sure it's good. And this is a, one of my lightweight cast iron pans that I'm heating up. And I just wanted to see how that was going to work, and it doesn't seem to be stuck too much. Now with these cast iron pans, I always re-oil them before I use them. So I'm going to put that to the side. Move you a little closer here. There, hope you can see that. And I'm going to put some tomato on here that I had in the refrigerator. And some thinly sliced sweet onions. I love sweet onions. They're so tasty. Great in a salad, on a sandwich. Even just a regular sandwich, it's, it, I like a slice of onion on there. So I don't want too much because I don't want to overpower everything. And then I'm going to put a little more of the sauce on there. I like a bit of sauce. And then I just had some, um, some lettuce, some romaine lettuce that I cut up. So I'm going to stick some romaine lettuce on there. My dogs love romaine lettuce. It's one of their favorite treats. So I give them, every time I make a salad, they're right there and they want romaine lettuce. So, all right. There we have it. Looks good.
good. So I'm just going to wrap this up. And this probably won't stay because I don't have a toothpick here. But it's nice and soft. Looks tasty. So I'm going to give this a taste. But first, I'm going to get a toothpick and take a picture. So there it is. Looks good. For some reason, I always forget to take a picture So for the thumbnail. So I'm going to give this a try. See how it tastes. I'm sure it's good. Tastes like a gyro. So, I would call this a winner. It's very good. Mm. Don't want to talk with my mouth full. And then this is my pickles. It's They're already starting to cool off. Oh, pretty full. So, anyway... Guess who's barking? All right, my friends. There they all go. I'll see you next time. Love you guys. I wish you abundant blessings.